I'm Brendan Moran with Creek Currents. I'm here at the 35th annual Walnut Creek Art and Wine Fest, and it is a hot day in the city. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Marianne Quinn. She's the chair of this year's Art and Wine Festival, but this is not your first year doing this, it is right? Not. This is my 25th year. Wow. Yeah. So what's going on this year? This year we have a lot of new attractions. We have a um, FMX motocross show that two riders from Canada and one from Northern California. Fantastic show. And we also have um, three shows going on from Walnut Creek's Aquanuts. Wow. How's this compared to, you know, in previous years since you've been here so long? Is it grown in size? Every year we tend to have a bigger footprint and then, um, try and add new acts and change it up and keep up with the times. So yeah, every year is different. Tell me about some of the other vendors. Well, we, this year we've added our um, premium Oasis tent here and we try to, to upgrade our artists and bring in some upscale um, art that kind of fits with the area of Walnut Creek and so so far it seems like it's a hit. Why do people come out to this? I mean tell me about you know the what's the draw besides the art and the wine? Uh, 35 years of being in Walnut Creek and most people in Walnut Creek have been here for a while so they come to know it and it's kind of like a big backyard barbecue. You have people that come from all over, but a lot of the people here are from Walnut Creek. Strictly stretching from the feet, never stopping with her head against the wind. She's a maniac, on the floor. She's dancing like she's never danced before. I'm here with Linda Ryback Colburn. She is the head of the Walnut Creek Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Nice job today. Thank you. It's gorgeous. It's, it, we expect about 90,000 people out over Saturday and Sunday. It's a great event. It kicks off summer. And the Chamber of Commerce is kind of behind all this, right? This is a Chamber of Commerce event. For 35 years, the Chamber of Commerce has been uh, putting together this art and wine festival at Heather Farm Park. It is a Chamber of Commerce event. It's a fundraiser, basically. It, uh, people come in. The festival itself is free. Uh, costs for the food, for the wine, for the beer, but all the artisans, you can come around and listen to the music, all the entertainment, it's all free. Brings in a lot of people from outside the community as well. Clearly. So you know, not all 90,000 people live in Walnut Creek. So this event brings in people from around the community who then stay in Walnut Creek. They need to eat, they dine, they take in the theater, they shop, they spend some more dollars here in Walnut Creek. So aside from the Art and Wine Festival, what else does the Chamber do? The Chamber of Commerce is in the business of advocating for business. And when business is healthy and the economy is healthy, so is the community. So by advocating for business, we are advocating for the community. Thanks, Linda. Okay. I'll let you get back to pouring wine. Thank you. All right. Thanks, friend. your first time at the Art and Wine Festival? This is my first time. We're enjoying ourselves. Where are you from? I'm from Lafayette, California. I've heard of that. Yes. Yeah. So are you enjoying the art or the wine or the wine and then the art? Um, we started with the wine and we enjoyed the art a little bit. The music's nice too. And the music. Can't forget about that. And the classic cars. I saw yes. you posing next to one oh, of them. Yes. That one's yours, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm here with Charlotte Irick. You were one of the performers today, right? Yeah. What did you do? Um, we did a um, a series of numbers from Broadway musicals, or Broadway musicals, and you know we sing and dance to them, so it was really cool. Yeah. 
What's the name of your uh, performing ensemble? La Mirinda Theater Academy Performing Ensemble. Just imagination, ha ha ha, and creative speculation, ha ha ha. time at the 35th annual Walnut Creek Art and Wine Festival. I think it's time for me to get on out of here. See you next year.